sepsis continues to remain as the biggest killer in intensive care units both in Australia and worldwide due to our aging population and increasing incidence of antibiotic resistance the case of sepsis continues to rise. Over the last two or three years we have spent a lot of time trying to investigate whether there are opportunities to discover, develop uh, and use interventions that might assist the human body to recover from sepsis and protect the organs from malfunction. We have studied very many drugs over the last 20 years to try and develop new, better treatments for sepsis, none of which have really had much benefit, and the effect of sodium ascorbate is quite remarkable. Well, as I say, it was an interesting birthday week. I turned 55 on the Monday, and on Saturday, I was in a coma. Um, one of my unexpected gifts for my birthday was the mint couple. Oh, yeah. It didn't kill me, which was the gold ring, but while I was busy not dying, um, I contracted septicemia. Now, I was in a coma at this point, so I was blissfully unaware of all the things that they were doing to try to uh, save me. Um, so, my first introduction, if you like, to septicemia or the effects thereof was when I awoke from the coma and realised that my extremities, my feet, legs, hands, were black and dead. As I was told, they were literally dead weight. Um, welcome to septicemia world. I had it relatively easy. And then steps. She watched it all. Yeah, potentially dying, five heart attacks, all that kind of crap. Uh, calling my children, flying them down as they life. And five years later, I'm still like, um, I had it easy. And um, well, from there on, we've battled on, as they say, and we don't get teary very often other than when I talk about that particular one. So a treatment that can reduce multi-organ dysfunction could truly revolutionise the treatment of sepsis worldwide, reduce the degree of organ dysfunction and save many lives. And importantly, sodium ascorbate is cheap, it can be easily stored, which means that could facilitate the rapid uptake of this therapy worldwide, especially in low-income countries that bear the largest burden of sepsis. If nobody else has to do or go through what me and other victims, patients, or even survivors of septicemia have gone through, all power to them. I mean, that's just a, an awesome I'm not going to even say an achievement. It's, it's, it's life-changing. On the scale that they're talking about with regard to being able to hopefully um, have this worldwide cheap and accessible, it's not just life changing, it's world changing. And wow, that's just incredible.